It's the stuff of horror movies, really. A series of scary incidents at a Park Avenue home alarming the Rochester couple inside. It has now led to a high priority investigation by the Rochester Police Department. That's right. The couple living in that home says they've been targeted, telling News 8 someone they can't identify has been harassing them and even even attacking them for about a year now. This picture has since been released by police to help identify the man involved. Alex Love spoke with a couple today. Alex. From windows on all sides of their house being shattered to the trespasser coming inside their home armed, the past year has been terrorizing for Peter and Manuel, and it may not be over. began March 15th of 2021 when this masked man snuck around the back of Manuel Rivera Ortiz and Peter Scribner's home and shattered their basement windows with an object. Neither men were sure what to make of it, but 48 hours later, he returned, this time busting through their back door. I go through that door and that's when I encounter him standing right over there, smashing cabinets and whatever, again all messed up and in this gear. We start tussling, he says absolutely nothing. I just complete, like, staring at me like this with these eyes to see whether or not I recognize him. The intruder eventually broke away and ran off. After Manuel returned from chasing after him, they realized their Yorkie Oscar was badly hurt. They accused the masked intruder of beating their dog before he broke in. The intruder either kicked or hit him. Uh, our roommate Jason took him to the emergency overnight veterinarian service. We had a when he came home, he could even stay injury. No little He's still. Over the next 11 months, this same masked man would come back to vandalize Peter and Manuel's property 10 more times. On some occasions, he would speed a truck and a car down their driveway, damaging fences and their own vehicles, while also shattering their front yard windows, even trying to enter their back door with a knife New Year's Day. Come nightfall, we're, we're petrified, but you know, I'm. I'm going to fight again. I just, I cannot allow this to continue to happen. I parked my car in front of the, in front of our house in the driveway, and three more times he used passenger cars that he sped backwards up the driveway and smashed right into, uh, smashed into my car. Manuel and Peter told us they've been kept up all night on guard all this all this time, and they're lucky if they get two hours of sleep. But as much stress as this brings them, they don't plan to move out, and they want to keep pursuing justice. Adam? All right, Alex, thank you. Again, Rochester Police investigating this, calling it a long-term investigation, a high priority. If you can help them out, if you have any information, you're urged, of course, to contact them, and they do accept anonymous tips. So please keep that in mind. You can call 911.